Hey guys, let's get right into this. Today we are hanging a panel, electrical panel, in a mechanical space in this uh, ICF building we've been working on, we've been roughing in. So I just wanted to kind of, first and foremost, we're gonna unpackage this panel and kind of just give you the ins and the outs of how to install a 200 amp main breaker panel. So coming out of the package, we got panel cover. We have not unboxed the panel cover. We'll do that once we're all done. Then what we got is we've got, it comes with, this is the value pack. It comes with some uh, breakers in it. You're gonna find out it's a two pole 30. Uh, looks like three single pole 20s and um, it's two, two pole 30s. So those come as a value pack. In addition to buying the panel, what you're gonna need to do is purchase, you're gonna need to purchase a surge protector. This is a, I'll show you how it goes in here in a minute. Really, uh, you gotta have one. Um, they snap right in just like a breaker now. They're super handy. You gotta have a vendor like CED, St. Johnsbury here in Vermont, who does a great job of getting everything we need in a timely fashion at great pricing. Plus they give me hats, you need to do that. Get yourself a ground bar. These panels don't come with a ground bar. Anytime you gotta separate your uh, unbond or don't bond, your neutral and your ground, you're gonna have to get yourself a ground bar for square D panels. Don't forget, it's frustrating. You also wanna make sure we're running 200 amp surge but you've got an add load. These, these come, these ground bars are set up for number six. It's the biggest, biggest wires you're gonna get in there. So they come with a lug kit. Some of them do, some of them don't. That lug kit is what you're gonna need for the ground off your 4 SER, which today's price is, is roughly $12.50 a foot for 4 SER. So listen, if you're gonna have to, if you got a bunch of uh, 200 amp panels to do this year, go get yourself some SCR before it jumps even higher. But anyway, back to this. Now what you're gonna get? A bunch of arc fault breakers. Arc fault, 20 amp, 15 amp combination arc fault GFI breakers. You're gonna need a bunch of them. From there, we got our 200 amp main breaker panel. So here's what I wanted to kind of go over. We're gonna go hang this on the wall. Which side is upside down? Can you hang a panel upside down? We have quite often been, um, you know, have been told we've hung our panels uh, upside down. I'm gonna assure you, you cannot hang a panel upside down, uh, a residential home line square D panel upside down. They are designed to go either way. And I'll show you, let me prove this to you in one simple thing. Right in here, you're gonna see the word line. Next to it, what you're gonna see is the word line the other way. So if I flip this over like this, my breaker is now just on the bottom. But guess what? Oh, still line and line. The way it goes is whichever way your cable's coming from. If your cable's coming from the top, then put your main breaker at the top. If your main cable is coming from the bottom, put your main breaker at the bottom. Save yourself some hassle. Um, so you're not, you know, trying to separate your branch wiring from your uh, service entrance cables where it says line. I try to keep that as my uh, service entrance area cables. And then on each side of it, left and right side, I try to get all my branch wiring. So that's why I have two ground bars. So all my grounds, whites and neutrals for, you know, uh, the respective side. If I come into the left side of my Romex, then I run everything on the left side. Keep your service entrance cables separate from your branch wiring if you can. Um, I believe it is not only uh, aesthetically looks better, but I believe that that is that where it says line is designed for your service entrance cables. That's in my heart the way I feel about it. I haven't looked it up, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what they mean by line. Uh, that is where your service entrance cables come in. So that's it, unpackaging your panel. Now let's go hang this thing.